Hey, so this is my Lipman Classic stethoscope. I use it as a medical student. Uh, when I got to medical school, I think it was just a given that I would go Lipman. I've never really seen anybody use something else. I think it's just the standard in most hospitals and clinics. Um, I'm happy with the stethoscope. It has a two-sided headpiece that you can um, twist to adjust which side you're listening from. Old school stethoscopes you may know had a, a bell function and a diaphragm function, but with the Lippmann's, you can use either side as a bell or diaphragm function. It's just variable with the pressure. Um, feel free to YouTube that to learn more about it. There's lots of great videos explaining. If you'd like a classic old school open bell, you can do that on the small side as well. But I usually use the small side as a um, pediatric listening uh, for, pedi for peds. And then I'll use the wider side on uh, most patients. You can use the small side for other things, auscultating a carotid or um, upper lobes of the lungs above the clavicles. Um, the earpieces are comfortable. Um, the quality is good. I know people that have been using their Lippmans for a decade. Um, so on balance, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that it's pretty run of the mill and, and standard for what you'll see in hospitals. Uh, it works well for me. Um, I think that if you're looking at this video, rather than comparing the Lippmann to other brand, you may just be deciding what kind of Lippmann to get. So I have my Lippmann cardiology over here as well. You can see a difference in the tubing of the neck piece over here, and this tube is a little thicker. And that's just because this has double tubing in it as opposed to the single tubing here. That's where the difference in price comes from. So if you want to splurge, you could go for the cardiology. If not, I think that this one, the classic, works just fine. Um, especially for a student, uh, you know, I think that if you want to invest, these things last, so you can definitely go for the cardiology, but um, this review is of the classic, and I think it works well, especially in non-critical care settings, especially in uh, primary care settings. Can't really go wrong with the Littman.